Let's check them out and see how waterproof they are and if they keep my hands warm in this 25 degree water. Good morning, modern steaders. This morning, we're gonna do a review on our Celsius Livestock Winter Gloves. That's what we're gonna call them. I purchased these Celsius Winter Gloves because they're 100% waterproof and doing your animal chores in the winter time, dealing with water, when it's say two below out Fahrenheit, man, your hands get cold fast. Using regular gloves, they get wet, they get soaked, they don't do any good. So I was searching around and I found these on Amazon. First, we're gonna start off using them, what I bought them for, and then we're gonna do some fun tests on them. Good morning, girls. This way I can go in, I can grab my waters. They're still wet or dirty. I can get in here, tail off what I need to, clean it up, and I don't gotta worry about my hands getting all wet and cold. If I did this with leather gloves, they'd be soaked, and they wouldn't do what I needed them to do. All right. Now we got a nice clean dish. Our hands are still warm, dry, and clean, which is awesome. I like them too, they're more of a tighter fit, so they're very ambidextrous. I can do a lot of different tasks with them. The really great thing, running a camera for YouTube, I can leave my gloves on and hit the record stop button. So they also have a shock bite grip on them, which is nice. They're fleece lined, I'll show you that in a minute. Oh, Moosh, you're so noisy. We got some eggs this morning. We sure do. Three eggs. You ready to go put these gloves to the test, Pluto? Let's go. What a perfect day for this test. 22 degrees Fahrenheit out and freezing rain. <laughs> so I got our water bowl from the goat farm that we left out last night. Had a little bit of ice in it. And then I added more ice for this test. Let's check and see what the water temperature is. Burr. 25 degrees, yep, that's chilly. They claim these gloves are 100% waterproof, so we're gonna test them. But before we do that, let me take them off and show you a few features of them. I was just looking on Amazon, guys. They're almost half price right now of what I paid for them. I'll leave an affiliate link in the description down below. Uh, when I bought them a couple of weeks ago, they were almost 15 bucks. Now they're, when I looked this morning, they were $8 and like 50 cents. <sighs> Crazy. Let me bring you in. They have this nice complete elastic band that you can pull nice and tight and Velcro. That'll help keep the water out if you go past. They're ice fishing gloves. I should have said that from the beginning. That's what these are. They're neop neoprene, you know, like if you have a pair of bogs in the side of your boots, it's the same material they're made out of. They're fleeced lined for warmth. They've been warm so far. And they got, they call it a shark bite grip. You can hear it on them. So that's nice for when we're handling stuff to get good grip. They come in different sizes. These are the large pair, which I find think is nice. So that way we we don't have to have, worry about having too big or too small of a pair of gloves. And then it looks like all the seams are glued somehow. So the shark bite is just a layer over on the palm for grip. Not a sponsor. You got different color fingers and they're stitched right here. I'm assuming this is for more ambidextrous movement. I really do like how the gloves give you a tight fit and you can grab onto things nicely like a snow shovel. 
get a good grip and keep your hands nice and warm on your out shoveling. I am going to say these gloves are going to be limited. I wouldn't use them as a heavy duty work glove. I wouldn't use them for getting firewood. You can, but I don't think they would last. I guess we could do a durability test at some point if you guys would like to see that. I could get, I could do some bringing firewood with them. Just do different extreme jobs to see how they hold up during the heavy duty use. But I got them for animal chores. Let's check them out and see how waterproof they are and if they keep my hands warm in this 25 degree water. Set the stopwatch and let's see how long we can keep our hand in this cold water. All right, let's go. It's definitely cold. Feel the coldness. It actually feels maybe wet. I don't know if I got water coming in or not. I feel the cold right on the palm of my hand. It almost feels like I have water coming in right here. So it'll be interesting to see once I take the gloves off if my hand's wet. All right, so we've been submerged for 50 seconds so far, and I'm feeling the cold. But I want to say I'm feeling the cold where some water's leaking in. Because it's only in a couple of spots that I feel the cold water. Ah, it's getting cold, guys. It's getting cold. Uh, I think I just dipped my cuff in. Ah. My fingertips aren't bad. There's one spot on the palm of my hand, like right here, that's cold. I'm wondering if I'm getting a little bit of water in there. A minute and a half. I mean, I don't really know how long I'd be holding my hand in the water for doing the animal chores, but. It's got to be curious to see when I take the glove off if we got any water in there. Oh, that's cold. It's getting cold. Let's we'll go to two minutes and then we'll, we'll call it quits. Oh, I'm sure I could go longer, but it's not fun. 155. I'm going to try the other glove. Two minutes. Take, I'll go in this glove at two minutes. Right away when I go in, it almost feels like a little bit of water comes in in one or two spots. Yeah, I can feel water, or what feels like water. Oh yeah, I can feel it dripping in somewhere. It's running right down the palm of my hand. But my hands been in water. I can squeeze water out of them, but my hands aren't that cold. They're a little chilly, but I mean, I can deal with it. I think this hand's got more of a leak. Yeah, I haven't gone over the cuff. This one we're gonna stop around a minute. I'm getting cold. All right, let's take the gloves off and see what we have. My hands have been out of that water for 30 seconds or so now. They're warming back up. I can squeeze water out of them. You can hear it. Curious to see if my hand's wet. If it's, get up close. If it's wet, it's just damp. It's not, wow, I would have sworn my hands would have been wet. They're damp. That fleece is pretty dry. Wow, I could have sworn I felt water coming in. Let's check out this other hand. Then we're gonna go inside because it's starting to rain pretty good. Even though it's 22 degrees out. What? I swore my hand felt like it was soaking wet with water running in. It's dry. That's just like a magic trick. <laughs> That's crazy. The fleece inside. Is dry guys what I would never have thought that man I come inside the outdoor kitchen aka the Kubota garage in the winter time it's raining out pretty good right now the cameras getting soaked but recap on the gloves I'm pretty sure I paid 15 bucks for them right now they're 8 850 on Amazon It'll be a link in the description down below but they're wet I can ring them out right now 
but my hands did not get wet. I could have sworn I felt water running down the palm of this hand and then in a couple of spots in this hand because the areas that felt like they were getting wet were really cold. So we held our hands in the water for two minutes and a minute. I could have held them in there a lot longer. It was just getting cold, but not terrible. Doing the animal chores, your hands don't get cold one bit. They work really well for shoveling, doing easy, light outside work. I wouldn't use them for moving firewood. I would think firewood's nice and rough. It would just tear everything apart and you'd only get maybe one season, one winter season out of them. For ice fishing, I bet they're great. They're, my hands are very movable in them. The buttons of the camera, I can turn on and off with the gloves on. Most gloves, I have to take my hands out to operate the camera. Um, they're really nice. If they get dirty with chicken poo or animal poo, I can leave them on, go in the house, wash my gloves with soap and water, which that's a huge benefit right there. And then I can keep using them, and I don't got to worry about having poo all over them. I'm thinking for when we harvest our animals here in the homestead, we do a lot of that in the fall. And sometimes it's extremely cold. I'm thinking these gloves are going to work awesome for that when you got to dunk your chickens in the hot water. You're dealing with the water with the feather plucker. You have those on. Your hands are going to stay warm. When we're scalding and scraping our pigs in hot water, sometimes it's cold. I'm thinking these are going to work good. You're not going to burn your hands in the hot water. And your hands aren't going to freeze afterwards. I'm not sure if Celsius is the brand of glove that you have to have. It's the first pair I had. I bought them, I said on Amazon, 15 bucks. That's why I bought them. They were one of the least inexpensive pairs at the time. And now they're even bit more affordable, which is cool. Uh, I might have to get myself a second pair at that price. But no, I really like them. They're ice fishing gloves is what they are. I think I've already said that, but if I haven't, they're ice fishing gloves. So they're neoprene. And they're just waterproof. Man, be curious to see. Maybe I'll have to get a different pair, more expensive pair, and see if there's any difference and compare them side by side. See if they're, if it's worth the extra money. But an awesome pair of gloves to have on the homestead. Do so many uses, especially in the winter time. But these are awesome. Thanks for watching the video. I had a good time putting these gloves to the test. I hope you enjoyed it. I learned a few more things about them. If you have any more questions on the gloves you want me to see, leave them in the description down below. If there's anything else you want me to do a test or a review on, leave it in the comments down below. And we'll see you guys right back here on the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.